Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit about database validation. Now, there's lots of different ways that you can validate data uh, within a database. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to focus on three. The presence check, the, less, the list check, and the range check. Now, validating information uh, that goes into a database is, is one of the key strengths of a database. Is to help the user and ensure the information that we put within the tables uh, are, are correct because the database without correct information um, then can lead to problems further down the line so the three areas we're going to look at is the presence check um, this is a field that cannot be left blank a list check where you are controlling what options a user can select from and then a range check where, where you um, give the computer certain uh, rules that it has to follow in order to ensure that the data meets that criteria before um, before it's entered into the table. So I'm going to work my way through these. Now my database here, um, in the last tutorial I talked about, about the teacher data. I've now imported um, the student data into the table and you can see over here they've got student ID, first surname, the number of subjects the student is selecting and you can see um, that they are between one and five. Uh, and then what level they're studying and in this particular table uh, we're only allowing AS level or A2 level uh, to be entered into that column. So first one is the presence check. So now a student first name, we have to have a student first name, we can't have a record where a student doesn't have a first name. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the properties uh, at the bottom of here and where we've got this option that says required we're going to change that from no to yes. This means that if you now try and enter information into um, the other fields in the database uh, like student last name, uh, number of service and level without filling in the student first name, it will not let you pass through. It will bring up an error message that says no, you have to fill in the first column. So that is your presence check. Your list check, um, so an appropriate place to put that would probably be on level here. We only want users to enter AS or A2. We don't want any other entries. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of it being a text data type, I'm going to go down to the lookup wizard, uh, and I want to type in the values that I want the user to be able to select from. Uh, so I'm going to select that radio button, click Next, and then I'm going to add the values. So I've got uh, A2 or AS. Click Next, and you can give it a, 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 an appropriate name and finish. And now if I go into the table, uh, you can see over here, okay, you've only got those two options to select from. Um, and obviously that helps the, the user um, in terms of entering information into that table. Okay, last one is the range check. So this is where we want the user only to be able to select from a certain range. So an appropriate place for that would, would be number of subjects. Now, to do an AS or an A-level, you have to do a minimum of one A-level. Um, and as, as a school... Uh, we've got a maximum of, let's say, five A-levels that you can select from. So I want them to be able to pick one, two, three, four, or five. So over here, I've selected into this uh, this field over here, uh, and I'm going to go down to validation rule, and I want to be able to let the user type in more than zero, okay, and we want them to be less than six. So if they accidentally type in uh, 44 because they've pressed the four button twice, or they've gone for seven A-levels, which... It's not possible. Um, it will not let them select from that. We also, underneath the validation rule, we can we can add an error message if they do not follow that rule. So we want to help the user and we want to say, uh, you can only enter between 1 and 5. Okay, and then this just guides the user. And if we jump into our table, oh yes, fine. And then we try and enter a, a customer into or student into the table, give them an, an ID number. Let's, let's try and not give them a surname, uh, a first name. Uh, let's go. Okay, uh, and let's try putting nine. You can say you can only enter between one and five, so that validation rule works. You can see the drop down menu over here, so I'm going to select A2. And if I try to jump into another record, it tells me you must enter value in the student first name which meets our presence check, so I can now put Lisa that. Uh, and that's uh, how you do the three uh, validation checks.